What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, just wanted to make this quick vid because Paramount was really like, hey, you want news, we're gonna give it to you. We have a lot to talk about, I'm gonna go over it really quickly, just give out my general thoughts, I don't wanna spend all day on this, but it is exciting stuff. So first off, Paramount confirmed that A Quiet Place Part 3 is releasing in 2025 with John Krasinski returning to direct. I'm happy we got that confirmation because there was a lot of confusion that the Quiet Place spinoff releasing in 2023 from the pig director, he was going to be making the proper Quiet Place Part 3. No, that's a spinoff. Krasinski is doing Part 3, which makes me so happy because A Quiet Place Part 1 and 2 are amazing. I'm a huge John Krasinski fan and I legit think he is a storytelling filmmaking genius. He is like a modern day uh, Spielberg, a modern day Hitchcock, like I'm not even gonna lie, I think he is just genius. Now the question that was raised in my mind is that Quiet Place Part 3 is releasing in 2025. That is a long time. Why is it taking it that long? for it to release. We got the spinoff in 2023. I'd assume that we would have gotten it in 2024, part three, but it's coming out in 2025. My theory is that John Krasinski is the MCU's Mr. Fantastic. He has signed on. He has been cast. He's going to be leading that franchise forward, and he's going to be a little busy, and so that's why it's being postponed to 2025, a way out. That is my theory. I think it sounds like a sensible theory. I hope it's true, but that is just my theory. Regardless, Quiet Place Part 3, super excited for it. Love the first two movies. Let's get it. The next huge news, we kind of already knew before, but we have official confirmation from Paramount themselves. It's that Star Trek 4 with Chris Pine and Zoe Saldana, Zachary Quinto, John Cho, Carl Urban, Simon Pegg, the OG cast from the J.J. Abrams films. They are all in talks to return for a Star Trek IV being directed by WandaVision's Matt Shackman. This is awesome news. Guys, those Star Trek movies, all three of them are highly underrated in my opinion. They are such a blast. I love them. The team chemistry, it is there. And the fact that we're getting a fourth film with the cast back, it's going to be like we never skipped a beat and I am ready. I am so literally hyped for it. I love Chris Pine and the whole cast. I can't wait to see them back. And I love WandaVision. It's my favorite MCU Disney Plus series. So the fact that we got the guy from that directing this, that's awesome. This movie's coming out sometime in 2023, December, I believe. So that's exciting. Lastly, I want to talk about how Paramount confirmed that a Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is on its way. And also they are developing a Knuckles solo TV series on Paramount Plus. And I love how they're expanding the universe. Idris Elba's Knuckles sounds cool. I can't wait to see him in the sequel. I'm looking forward to the sequel because the first movie was really good. I really enjoyed it and I think it is the best video game adaptation yet. There's also some news that Dylan O'Brien is not returning for the new Teen Wolf movie and some people have been speculating, ooh, is he doing something for the DCU as Nightwing? Because he's heavily rumored to be Nightwing. And I, I love Nightwing. I think it's good casting. I'd like to see him as Nightwing. So we'll see about that. But that's all the news. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about all this news? Do you think Krasinski is doing Mr. Fantastic for the MCU and that's why 2025 the Quiet Place Part 3 movie is releasing so late. What do you think about the Sonic universe expanding? And what do you think about Star Trek 4 actually happening all these years later? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That will be all for me. Remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.